What's going on guys, the Nintendo Bad Boy here, and if you've been on the internet for the last 24 hours then you've most likely seen the phenomenon yourself. It's called Bowsette. This hybrid character, uh, Princess Peach and Bowser, for some reason this thing has taken the internet by storm, but the fan art itself has been mwah, glorious, some of the most high caliber artwork I've ever seen. And it's not like we just have a bunch of art rookies joining in here, there's established creators in the art industry, in the manga industry, that have been talking about this, drawing their own renditions of it, it's crazy to see this. Bowsette phenomenon take off like he has. It's pretty funny how things worked out with this tweet considering a tweet I'd made earlier. Well, I guess that's satisfied now. I'm only showing you guys the stuff that's safe for work. Just imagine, go to Rule 34, Gelboro, Danboro, all those other crazy websites that have this hentai shit. And you'll see far more images that are way less, um, conservative. There is a reason, there's a very big connection here as to why people are now popularizing the idea of putting that crown on Bowser. The artist who started this whole thing with this comic goes by the name of Haniwa, depicting Princess Peach rejecting Bowser and Mario. So Bowser decided, fuck it, put the crown on and became a princess <laughs> and became Bowsette. Mario and Bowser lived in perfect harmony from that day forward. I don't know if that's detailed, but that's what you assume. Uh, that image itself, it has almost, I think, 100,000 likes on Twitter and it's been retweeted a ton of times. The original comic was posted on September 19th, and then on September 21st, after seeing the popularity rise by a lot, the guy himself commented saying, damn, thanks for all the attention. It's hard to reply to everybody or see everybody's artwork. What do you think this dude's reaction is now? Two days later, man. I would love to talk to him at some point just to gauge where his excitement levels are. And he seems like a really chill dude. He's into typical shit, gaming, anime, and um, other things that we're all interested in. Damn, I love my wife, boo. Damn, I love my wife. Yeah. ESAM, CND, Inferno Omni, Mewtwo King, DC was taken, Jay Witz, Ouija, and Nairo, just to name a couple. I'm about to mention a couple of my favorites, and it won't just be the ones with the big anime titty. <laughs> it's in the same parental control category as last time. This one's definitely a little bit different, but you notice the smile on that boy. I don't think he gives a flying fuck about the Nintendo Switch at this point. And I know that I said that my favorites wouldn't be just big anime titty, but goddammit, I, I like me some big anime titty, okay? And this is a great Great fucking image right here. Shout out to the goddamn artist. This is fucking clean. The same goes to this one too. I'm kind of feeling the more mean look that she has going on. Maybe that's my weakness or some shit. However, this image, this one right here is easily my favorite one. You can kind of guess what this is. And these niggas come up with the perfect idea, bro. But as we sit back and appreciate the wave of new material that this meme brings, we have to also ask ourselves, why is it that Bowsette resonates so deeply within us to where we all admire and draw artwork of the character? And it might have something to do with the character's personalities themselves rather than just the looks that they achieve. That post explaining why Peach Bowser is so powerful actually does make sense. Not the titty, not the edgy. It's just Bowser was always pretty cool. Got along with a lot of people a la early Superstar Saga and a few other times. He's a good dad, so combine that with Peach's good body and boom. Maybe it's a little bit of like a bro science explanation, but it does make sense. Bowser is actually one of my favorite characters in the Mario series. Superstar Saga, uh, that was one of my favorite games. I absolutely love it. I played the first, I played the second. You see a lot of the personality behind Bowser himself. Not too much of the brothers, I feel, but I mean, that's just my thoughts. As much as we love Bowser, it makes sense that we would appreciate him being presented in a different package, I suppose just for um, what if's sake. It's kind of fun to see things like this erupt, especially when they revolve around um, Nintendo-based characters, not just gaming characters. So um, Bowsette, please continue to burn down the internet. You've already taken care of Japan. I think most Americans will probably be on the wave by the end of the week. Let's see how far this thing goes. I, I think if Nintendo some actually does put the Super Crown in the fucking Smash Ultimate shit, how is that going to work out? I'm scared to see where it'll go. But anyways, guys, um, now you're informed. If you see the image around, you might want to save a couple because there's a lot of great ones out there. The variety is mwah! I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Nintendo bad boy out this bitch. <laughs>